Is Lego getting too expensive? That's what we're going to be talking about today in this video. So welcome back everybody. This is my first time addressing Lego prices. What brings this up? Well, recently I reviewed the new Lego motorized lighthouse, which in my opinion is a fantastic set. It's got moving features, light features, it looks really good, it can be presented in a Lego city, and I classified it as pretty much perfect because I think it's an amazing set that's going to look fantastic in the Lego city. The comment section absolutely ate me alive stating that this set is not perfect due to its price. I guess I didn't really factor in the price, so that's my bad. Yes, this thing is very expensive, retailing for 300 US dollars in the United States, which is very expensive based on the amount of pieces that it has. Today we're going to be talking about Lego prices, how they've gone up, and just everything involving the pricing of the sets that we all love and like to build today. Yeah, we got lots to talk about, and let's start by breaking down the price of the Lego Lighthouse. So just for the sake of this video, we're going to keep our base currency and US dollars. So the Lighthouse retails for 300 US dollars, which is pretty high considering it only has 2,065 pieces. However, with that said, it does include some electronics. So it has one of these motors, which is worth roughly about $20. It also has a battery box, which is right down here, and that's worth $35. In addition to that, it does have this really cool light kit, and that one there is worth uh, approximately, it looks about $15 roughly. So those electrical components add up to about $70 roughly, so that knocks our price down a little bit. It also comes with a really cool dark blue base plate that I'm going to say is valued at about $10. So once you deduct those from the price, it's about $220 which gets us closer to the 10 cents per piece. However, it is still a little bit overpriced. You know, maybe this price could have been 30 to $50 cheaper, maybe $250, that might've been a fairer price. However, with that said, prices are all going up and we're gonna talk about that in this video as well because they've actually changed a bunch of the prices on the Lego website and that's for new products coming out and for existing products as well. Now something else that I want to talk about is exchange rates. So this set here is worth 300 US dollars. And in the United Kingdom it's worth 265 pounds. What does that convert to in US dollars? You can see after being converted on Google it comes out to $312.62. Us Canadians are going to pay 380 Canadian dollars. So based on Google Exchange we're actually getting a little bit of a discount on this set. Australians pay a whopping $470 meaning they're paying approximately 25 more dollars for the set. All right, but what about Denmark? They're paying 2,299 kroner, which works out to about $310. And it also sells for 300 euro, which is pretty much the exact same as US dollars. Actually, the exchange rates on this set are pretty accurate. I mean, obviously there's a lot more exchange rates that we could look at. I couldn't have access to any like the prices in Asia, uh, China, Taiwan, Malaysia, so I'm not sure what those prices are going to equate to, but based on the ones we checked, they're all roughly about the same. However, the Australians are paying a little bit more for this set based on the exchange rates. So ultimately in the end, the lighthouse is still a little bit more expensive than it should be. They probably could take 25 to $50 off that price tag, but I still think it's really cool, something that we've never really got before with the lights the motor. Also, we have to remember that there is the Fernow lens that they custom built and went through a bunch of prototypes to create in here. They do use the rock panels along the bottom. Those probably could have been like slopes and stuff like that, but I really don't mind the use of the rock panels in this set. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to stick to what I said here. Besides the price, I still think that this set here is pretty much perfect. So how about Lego, hey? They're making a lot of money right now. This graph right here represents their revenue in billions of euros. So you can see back in 2003, they only made 0.9 billion euros. Last year in 2021, they made 7.44 billion dollars. And you can see the growth was absolutely substantial. And most of that was driven by, of course, the pandemic. Boy, oh boy, they are absolutely killing it right now, making a bunch of money, aren't they? But with that said, there is a thing called inflation as well. I have this handy dandy inflation calculator right here. Look at that. I've set it from 2020 
to 2021, and it's gone up 14.5%. So we gotta remember that inflation is a thing here. Uh, when we see price increases, inflation definitely plays a role with that. Now, unfortunately, in lots of places, our wages are not you know, going up with inflation. They're not reflecting the same number, but the price of products, the price of everything, uh, that being gas, uh, beef, Lego, is all sort of going up because of inflation. And that's what's happened is the governments around the world have stimulated the economy and handed out a whole bunch of money to people in need throughout the coronavirus to try and support society. And what's happened is this has caused a huge spike in inflation and that is just causing the price of pretty much everything to go up. Even when we go to 2015 to 2022, so seven years, you can see that there's been a 25% increase in inflation, which is massive and obviously plays a huge role on how much these products cost to create. Another thing that we got to think about is the shipping. I used to be able to ship things here within my province uh, for $8. That used to be the flat rate shipping charge that I used to ship products within my province. Shipping alone has in my province has gone up to about $15 roughly. So shipping charges have increased substantially because of the price of oil and everything like that and also inflation. So Lego shipping container loads of products around the world and the increase of shipping costs will definitely increase the price of their product. But with that said, we saw how much revenue they're making. So what is uh, Lego doing with all of this billions of dollars that they're making? Well, they are opening a new factory in Virginia and this is going to be a carbon neutral factory. You can see a photo of it right here on the Lego website. An absolute beast of a factory. I like how there's a Lego truck right there. That's cool. And then down here, you can see all the different factories that they have around the world. So they are increasing their production to try and keep up with demand of their product. Uh, I know that sometimes they've had a hard time meeting the demand of their product. So they definitely are increasing production and trying to do it in a greener, more environmentally friendly way by creating these carbon neutral run factories. And this one here looks like a monster. So they are investing some of their revenue in creating new factories. In addition to that, Lego is trying to make their product more environmentally friendly. I believe they're trying to switch to paper bags. However, that has taken absolutely forever. I'm not sure where that is, but obviously there's a lot of money and research and development that has to go into that project. And another thing that Lego is doing is they are increasing the amount of stores that they have globally. Obviously, when your revenues jump 27%, uh, they got to increase their... Uh, retail space, so their brick and mortar stores have gone up uh, in a huge way. Specifically in 2021, Lego had opened 165 new stores and they're expanding their market in China by opening 95 no new stores in China, increasing their global store count to 832. And that doesn't even include all of the stores that they have opened here in 2022. Another thing that I want to think about is how many people Lego is employing. So it's pretty cool that they're opening all of these stores they're producing all of these sets, they're making all of these factories. So they're employing people in the retail side of it, uh, the construction side of it, the shipping side of it, the research and development side of it. So they are employing a mass amount of people, which ultimately is good for the economy and good for society in general. So that's one positive to take away from their higher prices is the fact that they have more capital to work with so they can open up new stores and open up new factories and employ more people. Something that I think was really greasy of them to do though was this. They raised a bunch of their prices. For example, the Millennium Falcon used to be 800 US dollars and now it's 850 US dollars. And in Canada, the prices raised from $900 to $1,050, which is absolutely insane. I used to brag when it was $900. I used to be like, hey, the Millennium Falcon is way cheaper in Canada because I would exchange or do the exchange rate and I'd say 900 Canadian is actually 694 US. So it's cheaper for Americans to drive to Canada if you live by the border and buy the Millennium Falcon here in Canada for 694 US dollars. I used to brag about that, but I don't think I can brag anymore. 1050. So now it's 80967 US. So it's still a little bit cheaper, but it's not quite the same uh, percentage. But they have raised the price on a bunch of existing Lego sets on the website. I don't really, oh, and in stores as well. I don't really agree with that. That's sort of dirty. Like once a price is set for a product, they shouldn't really raise it. But I guess, I mean, costs are going up. Once again, inflation, shipping, 
everything like that, and it's just causing them to increase their prices. But with that said, I mean, the revenues are absolutely the highest they've ever been. The treehouse used to be 200 bucks, now it's 250 bucks. R2-D2 used to be 200 bucks, now it's $240. A lot of the helmets used to be $60, like Boba Fett here, and they've gone up to $70. The Hogwarts Castle had a huge price increase. This used to be worth $400 US dollars, now it's worth $400. Hundred and seventy dollars and this website right here known as brick fanatics goes over all the different price increases and you can see this Statue of Liberty has gone up 20% 17% on the Batman tumbler a bunch of the city stuff went up a small percentage there the three-in-one sets went up 20% this website here goes over pretty much everything and there is just a lot of price hikes that the Lego group has done on their existing sets which like I'm not a huge fan of. I think that's just like not very ethical if you ask me to increase the prices of sets that have already been issued and the price has already been set. I think that it should have only been raised on sets that are coming out now to reflect the new prices moving forward and they should not have changed the existing prices. But you can see a lot of these things have gone up 25% like that's the treehouse, uh, the typewriter run up. So a lot of these things have just skyrocketed in price which is just absolutely insane. This list here was once again provided by BrickFanatics.com. Thank you so much for providing a detailed list of the price increases. Uh, one price that isn't too bad still is Ninjago City Gardens. That one went up 16% and it's definitely still a good value. So I mean, ultimately in the end, I do think that Lego is very expensive and I've always known that. You know, it's never been a cheap hobby nothing has changed there it's always been very expensive unfortunately for us inflation has gone up huge in the last few years causing the prices of our beloved lego sets to go up gas to go up you know meat to go up everything to go up essentially everything's more expensive now which isn't good do i still think that this is overpriced i do i think that uh the price of it could probably be maybe 30 to 50 dollars cheaper even though you get the electronics and the really cool base plate and stuff like that. But the problem is, is not the problem, but Lego sort of has a product that is so unique. They're one of the number one toy companies in the world. And they sell one product, which is just so cool. And I think they just sort of, you know, they got us. Like, they got their, their grip on us, but they got to be a little bit careful. Because I've seen a lot of people comment on, on my videos saying that they're no longer going to collect Lego just because it's getting too expensive. Especially when you factor in how many sets are coming out now. Like, there are so many different cool sets that have come out this year. Like, in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Like, they are just pumping out a lot of sets now. So when you look at that and then you look at the prices of them, it's sort of hard to be a collector. But I've always said that you got to sort of pick and choose which ones you do. But I still think the Lego group means well. They're an ethical company that produces a toy that embetters the world and really does employ a lot of people and bring happiness to a lot of people's lives. And I think you got to remember too is a lot of people, you know, buy and sell Lego, so it actually employs more people and generate generates revenue for more people than you would think because a lot of people buy and sell the product, have BrickLink stores, our YouTubers, our set designers, our rebrickable designers, or stuff like that. So Lego is just like a really cool product that a lot of people benefit from, whether it be mentally, financially, and just in general have a good time with the product. But I do think that it is too expensive. There's no question about it. I wish it was cheaper, but I mean, this is sort of the hand that we're dealt. There's not much we can do about it. So Either you can collect Lego or you can pick and choose which sets you like and collect a little bit of Lego within your budget. I, I just don't know what else we can do about it, really. But yeah, Lego is expensive. I'm definitely allowed to admit that and not scared to admit that this is a very expensive hobby. And I don't think I've ever said that Lego is cheap. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that oh man, this set's so cheap, woohoo, you know, like, I don't think I've ever said that about any Lego set, and, you know, to say that Lego is expensive, it's just a fact, more so than being negative, it's more so just a fact, a, a reality, that this toy that is made of Lego, an oil-based product, is expensive.
did I say made of Lego? Made of plastic? That's what I meant to say. If I say made of Lego, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, that's it, everybody. I just wanted to discuss the price of Lego and how it's going up and how it is becoming more and more expensive. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Just be kind. Please appreciate that. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell. Bye.